All right. So uh, I got a question. Actually, let me. I'm gonna find it here on my other monitor. And uh, let's see. So Peter was asking me, uh, how can I make change the stacking order uh, for four logos for mobile? Because it stacks them essentially one per, per row. And so this is a, a template actually that I, I built for a friend of mine for his uh, gym. And uh, so I have here, I've got these social icons. I've actually created a copy of this. He doesn't actually have these on his page. But um, anyway, so if you want to link these, this is what I would imagine be like the most common uh, usage for something like this, right, is, is having some social media icons. And these are actually icon elements um, where you can just select, you know, whatever icon you want here. So if you wanted this to be like email or um, I think it's actually envelope, you know, so you have like a click here to email or whatever. And then you can actually, um, you know, link these to whatever you want, right? Um, so I actually like the Snapchat one better, so I'm going to do that. Um, let's do that one. There we go. And so anyway, the problem is, um, let me actually, let me show you here. Cause I've, I've got this one set up already. I'm going to change this to all, and then we'll switch over to mobile really quick. And, uh, this is our mobile only one. You see, I have two different versions. So I have uh, two rows. Essentially this one here is a, a four column row. And then this is a single column row that I've set to mobile only. And so I'm going to show you what happens when we preview this. We'll go click preview here and scroll down to the bottom and then we can just uh, resize here. And uh, actually, you know what? My, uh, my other icons, oh, cause they're set to mobile only, sorry. So I gotta make this a little bit smarter. So you'll see the break point start to happen right about here actually. We scroll down and these, this is the one set to desktop and these are the ones I've adjusted for mobile right here. So this is normally what's going to happen unless you make this update and I'll give you this uh, code snippet in the, uh, in the description of this video here. So anyway, um, these, uh, this one is the one that's on mobile. This one's the one that's on desktop. That's why I have it set to desktop only. So we'll go back here, change this back to desktop only. And then I'll show you, this is actually pretty simple. CSS. Um, it's just this right here. Uh, row, you need your row ID and then this uh, dot EL icon element with 25%. This is what I found worked the best and then float right. And the float right is actually what makes it uh, all line up like that basically. So, um, and then the other thing that I've done here on this, so this desktop row, I have it set to 40%. And if I go over to mobile, scroll down on this row, I actually have this one set to 100%. And you can see it's just kind of the default settings. Um, so anyway, you'll need to go to this mobile row here, click get CSS info, copy that row ID and uh, replace it right here. So you'll just, that, this is the only thing you'll really need to do is replace this row ID with whatever the row ID is for your uh, mobile row and make sure this is a one column row uh, right here. So let's go back. Um, I'll kind of show you just from the start how I would do that. So what I've done, what I would do actually is I just clone it um, and then I add a single column row below and then uh, I'm just going to move all of these icons here and you're going to see that they'll stack actually. And so that's all right. So then I'm gonna actually go ahead and delete that one, my clone there. I'm gonna set this one to mobile only, but first I'm gonna grab this CSS selector. So this is my new row here. And then I'm gonna set this one to mobile only. Now let's go down here and you'll see I've got they even stack like this on mobile, right? So I'm gonna actually delete this one so I can show you the magic. So I'm gonna leave that down there. 
custom CSS, and then I'm just gonna swap out the row ID. And there we go, now they're aligned horizontally. They look nice, and that's it. That's all you gotta do.